हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू द चैनल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस टू एनालिटिकल विंडोज फंक्शन लीड एंड लैक वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो आई यूज दीज फंक्शन डे इन डे आउट इन माई जॉब ऑल्सो मैनी इंटरव्यू क्वेश्चन विल बी बेस्ड ऑन दीज टू फंक्शन यू कैन आंसर इजीली बेस्ड ऑन दीज टू फंक्शन ओके सो लाइक ऑलवेज वी विल लर्न विद एन एग्जाम्पल सो i we have this super store data set right i i i shared in another video you can download and import the data okay so this is my super store data basically and i have all the order dates when the order was placed order id and all the data sales quantity discount so i want to see year on year am i doing more sales or less sales right so what i have done i have just aggregated the data on year so i have extracted year from the order date and i aggregated the sales and group by again year so i got this so i have year on year sales 2018 this much is the sale 2020 this much is the sale 19 this much 21 this much what i want to say is year on year what i am doing so when so lead and lag fun uh, lag functions are useful when you have to see the data of current row with the previous row or next row so you want to compare data of different rows that's when you want to use lead and lag functions for example for 2018 i will just do a order by order by order year i'll just remove this for now Okay, so if you see for 2018, this much is the sales. For 2019, this much is the sales. So I want to see is 2019 sales more than 18 sales? Is 2020 sales more than 19 sales? Uh, how is the relationship, right? So basically, for this this row, I want to compare it with this row, right? So whenever these kind of situations comes, where you have to compare current row a row data with a another row data. that's when we will use lead and lag functions so what i will do now i will first start with lag function so this is a syntax lag and what what column you want to see so i want to see the sales column right sales column how much lag so we want to see one lag for 2019 we want to compare it to 2018 so it is just a one lag right we can do a lag of 2 lag of 2 means 2020 will be compared with 2018 okay so i will do lag of sales 1 so one lag only and over i have to give here order by order by like on which on what you want to lag like on the year or there can be other columns also so i want to do a lag on order year as previous previous year sales okay i will just run it quickly so if you see for the 2018 year there was no 2017 year right so that's why previous year sales is null for 2019 this is the sales and what is the previous year sales this one see now since we have this year and previous year sales in same row now we can easily compare right similarly for 2020 if you see the previous year sales is this one right so this is previous year sales and we got it here so this is how lag function is working okay so if i do we have another option so there is another optional argument you can pass to lag function so if there is no previous row Null is coming. You can give a default value. So if I give zero, it will give me default value as zero. So this is the third argument to the lag functions, right? So if I want to compare now, I can easily compare. I will say uh, I will create one more column, sales minus previous year sales. So I can just say how much sales has increased or decreased over the years. So for the first year. there was no sales so this much and then this minus this this minus this and this minus this i can calculate the percentage also if i divide by the current year sales or previous year sales right so this is how lag functions works 
we will come back to the let function so this is how it is right now coming to the lead as it suggests lag is previous low lead is next row so if i do lead it will give me next row so i can say next year sales right so for 2018 if you see next year sale is what 470 so i have got 470 right for this 2019 next year sale is this one so we got it here so this is our lead function works in reality you don't need both the function you can always have lead and lag uh, you can do only with lag or lead by changing the the order by so if here th this is ascending by default if i do descending so what it will do it will order in descending order year and give me lead which is nothing but basically the previous year sales right let me show you order by order year okay so if you see for 2018 again i got previous year sales is zero right and now this i am doing with lead function because what i have done i am doing order year descending so i have sorted by descending so let me do this also descending okay so 2021 this is descending and when i am doing lead it will go here right for uh, 2021 sales is this what was the sales in 2020 this one and we got it here so this this way also we got it the previous year sales right hope this is not confusing so by changing the order you can play with lead and lag functions okay now this is overall on the overall table we are doing lead and lag what about we want to have we want to see lead and lag reason wise so let's say i have another column here mm. so i want to see uh, uh, uh. reason okay so i will take reason also reason and group by reason okay so i have reason also if i see the data now so i have reason also and order here so if i do order by reason okay so i have all the data reason wise so for central reason i have all, all four years of data for each reason now for each of the reason i want to see the previous year sales right so for each reason if you see there is no previous in the table if you see there is a previous row but i don't want this row to be this this row's previous row right because what i am trying to do is for each reason i want to see the previous year sales so in that case i can use lag and here i can use partition by partition by reason what will happen for each reason it will separately calculate the lead or lag or whatever you are doing if we see now so if you see for 2000 year previous year is zero and again for the each reason if you see it is not taking this rows data right or this rows data so it is saying that there was no sell previous year again for the south reason it will reset so for it has created partitions for each reason and separately it is calculating lead and lag okay so this is how lead and lag function works you can put two also so it will check previous to previous year sales if you see the first two rows are zero because for 2018 previous to previous year would have been 2016 but there is no sales again for 2019 2017 there is no sales so 00 for 2020 now if we lag to it will be this sale and this is coming here right so you can have any number lag 2 3 4 and you have a default value and if you you want to group 
you want to calculate lead lag based on a group you can put it in partition and you have to put in order by on what column you want to check lead and lag so this this row matters this order by matters accordingly it will check lead and lag okay hope this is clear do let me know if you have any doubt i will solve some more questions uh, complex questions based on lead and lag in my future videos do like the video if you think it is good thanks for watching